Uh, so the first progression that we're doing here is we're going to have our outsides work on getting back about equal distance to our defensive uh, players who are going to be setting this ball out of system. They want to make sure that they're getting back so they can the the out of the defensive players can set the ball in front of them so they can lead them on their approach and work on swinging. Our uh, defensive players are working on setting the ball about five feet in, five feet off, to give a good up and down for our outside attackers to make sure they have a place to go to when they go to attack the ball, making it a little bit easier. <clears throat> the next element we're going to add into this is our defensive players are going to set the ball as many times to themselves. It can be one time, two times, three times, to make sure that our outside uh, attackers are waiting to see the set before they start taking their approach. Okay, here we go. Now what we're doing is we're trying to make sure that our outsides are not just going on this toss, they're going to go actually go off of the set so our defensive players can set the ball to themselves any time, uh, one to four, three, four, five times to make sure that they are waiting to see the set before they start their approach. So we're just trying to prevent them from leaving too early. Good job, way to way G. Excellent. We want our outsides to work on swinging at this ball deep right now. We don't want them to try to pull the ball down because obviously with being five feet off the net, we're not trying to put the ball into the middle of the court. So their goal is to try to swing the ball, swing at the ball and put it in the back five to, five to eight feet on the court, cross court or down the line. Uh, next progression that we do is we actually have our outsides attack the ball into our defensive players. Our defensive players will dig and then set to the outside attackers. Um, they can set the ball to themselves one or two times to again force our outsides to make sure they wait and see the set before they take their approach. What we want to do also is make sure that our outsides and right sides are getting as deep as that uh, defensive player. We don't want them to stop short and, and only give the defensive player a small amount of area where she can lead them with the ball. Try to lead her a little bit more, Lena. Wait, wait, very good. Nice swing, Allie, way to swing deep. Uh, this is our next progression that we're uh, doing and now we are adding in the right side out of system attacker. We have two defensive players. Ball is going to be entered in from uh, one of those two players. We're gonna have a dig set, so this becomes a little bit more live. Uh, only three contacts, obviously, and they're able to set both the right side and the outside attacker. Same thing goes, we're working on trying to get back deep enough is uh, so we're able to take a nice strong approach and keep that ball in front of us so that we're able to get a good swing we still want everybody to continue to swing that ball deep swing at that ball work on putting it deep right now because it is off the net uh, most often we do want to have our um, defensive players setting that ball cross court but if they do get in good position to set that ball back behind them we want to make sure that we have uh, threats on both pins when our setters back row when we are attacking that ball out of system. We do have our libero set that second ball as much as possible but there is also the instances where the ball is dug off the net and our setter has to set the ball out of system as well. <laughs> 